Hi, this is Damian Krizmancic. I love you, our interface. Session one, concept and ideas. What is LabVIEW? LabVIEW from NI is system engineering software for applications that require test, measurement and control with rapid access to the hardware and data insights. LabVIEW offers a graphical programming approach that helps you visualize every aspect of your application, including hardware configuration, measurements, data and debugging. LabVIEW integrates measurement hardware for any vendor. Why we would need a LabVIEW R interface? One can deploy R models directly into production. There is no need for additional software development. One can harness the power of both LabVIEW and R. Who uses LabVIEW? Industry, military, aerospace, automotive, semiconductors, telecom, energy, power, consumer electronics, computer, medical devices. Experimental research, physics, biology, chemistry. Where does demand for artificial intelligence rise? Same fields. LabVIEW are interface ingredients. R. LabVIEW. It includes native support for Microsoft.NET Framework. R.NET, an open source in-process bridge for Microsoft.NET Framework to access the R statistical language. Session 2, a working example. Deployment of the KNN algorithm. Part 1, the LabVIEW R load script. This script, in principle, loads the data. This is how our data looks like. This script will be sourced by LabVIEW. Part 2. Manual setting of a new observation. Feature 1 is equal 6. Feature 2 is equal 3. Let's assign them here, for instance. But they will be set by a real LabVIEW sensor. Part 3. The LabVIEW R predict script. This is the KNN prediction. In this case, the result is A. This script will be then also sourced by LabVIEW. The predicted output class value will be returned to LabVIEW. Session 3. The LabVIEW demo. This is the LabVIEW block diagram. It's based on an event structure. This is the LabVIEW front panel for our example. This is where we source the LabVIEW R load script. Part 2. Here we manually set the values, in this case 6 and 3, and then we set the values to R. Part 3, we source the LabVIEW R predict file and we get the result back, in this case A. Let's try another pair of values. We set feature 1 is equal to 2, feature 2 is equal to 2, and then we get the result B in this case. Thank you. Feel free to contact me. Bye bye.